fertilization in plants flower to fruit green sepals second is colorful petals third is stamens which is the male reproductive part fourth is carpel or pistil which is the female reproductive part stamen consists of a long stalk called filament and a swollen head called anther it consists of numerous very small pollens which are male reproductive cells pistil consists of a sticky structure called stigma attached to a long tube like structure called style and style ends in a swollen part called ovary and this ovary contains the female reproductive cells ovules when pollens from the anther of stamen joins with the ovules present in the ovary we call it fertilization let's revise when pollens from the anther of stamen joins with the ovules present in the ovary it is called fertilization and fertilization forms the seeds inside the ovary and after fertilization this ovary changes into a fruit that's why seeds are there inside the fruit now let's see what is pollination pollination is a process by which pollen is transferred from the anther that is the male part to the stigma which is the female part of the plant thereby enabling the fertilization and reproduction in turn now let's see how pollination occurs or how pollens reach stigma there are various ways how do pollens reach the stigma flowers have bright petals and strong fragrance that attract insects and other animals also flowers have thin nutritious honey like liquids called nectar inside of them that acts as food for many insects butterflies bees and many other insects feed on the nectar so they visit the flower to suck nectar while sucking nectar from the flowers they are in no way harmed by the insects insects and insects feed on the nectar present in the flowers nectar gets attached to the body of the insects and when these insects visit some other flower for nectar pollens get to the sticky top of the pistils and by the way of long tubes called style pollens reach the ovary where ovules are present and fertilization occurs leading to the formation of seeds so this process of pollens reaching the sticky tops of pistils is called pollination and pollens may reach to the stigma of the same flower or stigma of different flowers when pollens reach the stigma of the same flower it is called self pollination and when pollens reach the stigma of different flowers of the same kind it's called cross pollination so kids we now know what is fertilization and what is pollination now we will learn about different agents of pollination insects like bees butterflies beetles etc are the main agents of pollination birds and mammals too pollinate some flowers wind also acts as an agent of pollination you have already understood about the process of pollination in flowering plants let's now understand about the formation of fruits and seed of a plant one a pollen grain lands on the stigma where the flower is pollinated two a tube grows down through the style to the ovary and into the ovule known as the pollen tube three 
when the male pollen and the female ovule join the ovule is fertilized 4 the fertilized ovule develops into a seed 5 this seed may eventually grow into a new plant 6 the ovary protects the seed as it develops 7 The combination of fertilized ovule and ovary is called the fruit. A fruit may have one or more seeds. The fruit is the seed-bearing structure of a flowering plant.